Unlike Windows 7, Windows 8 comes with a built-in app for sending and receiving your email. Not only is the Mail app free, but it also comes with a spell checker. Considered a live app, the Mail app automatically updates its Start Screen's tile. A glance at the Start Screen's Mail tile quickly shows you the sender's names and the subjects of your latest emails. However, you will need a Microsoft account to use the Mail app and the bundled People, Calendar, and messaging apps. The Mail app works with Hotmail accounts, Windows Live accounts, and Google's Gmail accounts. If you need to add a different type of email account, you'll first need to set your Hotmail, Windows Live, or Gmail account to import your mail from the other account. To load Windows Mail app, click the Mail app tile. The Mail app quickly fills the screen. Access the Charms bar. Click Settings, Accounts, Add an account. Choose the type of account you'd like to add, and then enter the requested information. Click Connect. When your Hotmail or Google accounts begin importing your mail from your other accounts, that mail will be waiting for you in the Windows 8 Mail app. The Mail app lists your email accounts in its bottom left corner. To see the mail sent to your account, click the account's name. Here, Hotmail is highlighted. That's because it's the currently viewed account. Accordingly, the Mail app shows the Hotmail account's newest email on the screen's right side. Beneath the names of your email accounts, the Mail app will list its folders. The inbox is shown when you first load the Mail app. The inbox folder will list your waiting email. When you're midway through writing an email and want to finish it later, click the Close icon and choose Save Draft from the drop-down menu. The email then waits in this folder until later. Every piece of email you've sent lingers in the Sent folder, leaving a permanent record. The Mail app sniffs out potential junk mail and drops suspects into the Junk folder. Peek in here every once in a while to make sure nothing falls in by mistake. The Deleted Items folder serves as the Mail app's recycle bin, letting you retrieve mistakenly deleted email. To delete something permanently from the Deleted Items folder, select it and choose the Delete icon. When you send or reply to a message, the Mail app immediately tries to connect to the Internet and send it. If mail can't find the Internet, your message stays in the Outbox. When you connect to the Internet again, click the Sync button to send it on its way. To see the contents of any folder, click it. Click any email inside the folder, and its contents appear in the pane to the far right.